The minority leader, Harun Idrisu, claims government functionaries and NPP activists are jubilating over the agreement announced today. Harun Idrisu says there's nothing to be excited about. For staff level agreement, I see them dancing and celebrating to it premature. Our debt is still not sustainable. The debt exchange initiative of the minister may probably fail or staff level agreement to us means nothing. He must come with board approval and management approval. If you read the text well of the agreement which has been signed, two important paragraphs. The second paragraph emphasizes reforms. There aren't enough reforms even in the budget for us to think that we are reforming and restructuring the economy. There's also, it's also conditional on other matters relating to making debt sustainable. A precondition and satisfied. The minority leader has also been demanding that the finance ministry brings to parliament its debt restructuring arrangement for approval. Even the debt exchange, they must bring something and lay here for the people of Ghana. The minister of finance cannot just walk away as if everything in this country is determined by him. If you are doing haircut and you are changing uh, contents of agreement, whether domestic or external, they are contractual, and those contractual comes with obligations. He must come and lay a paper in this house, how he intends to work on the external debt. Because when this house approves those loans agreement, we approve them consistent with Article 181, terms and conditions. You can vary the terms at your pleasure or as it pleases a certain minister for finance. Those terms and conditions must be brought to this house for our scrutiny. But Vice Chairman of the Finance Committee, Patrick Boama, says if there is any of the arrangements that must come to Parliament, government will not hesitate to do so. The, the minority leader made serious statements with regards to the government's debt exchange program and also the fact that certain documents ought to be laid before the House. I believe that all those requisite documents will be subjected to parliamentary scrutiny. The first step is what has been announced. Every step that requires the people's representative to look at, I believe, will have the opportunity to look at that. So I want him to be rest assured. To allay his fears. The minority insists that the details of that debt restructuring program that government has announced and which it is currently implementing must be brought before parliament. There are those who have opined that because of the legalities and the nature of that arrangement, it does not have to come to parliament. But some NPP MPs have been assuring the minority that if there is the need to bring some of those fine details to parliament, then that will be done. But with government now getting the staff level arrangement with the IMF officials who came down to negotiate, it is expected that in the next few months, government will be able to get the final authorization from the IMF board to be able to enroll and finally implement an IMF program. That may take some time, given the fine details of the domestic debt exchange program, as well as the external debt exchange program, to be able to bring Ghana's debt to sustainable levels. Reporting for Joy News, Kwiku Asante, Parliament House, Accra.